hello everyone welcome back again and i hope you all are doing well and in this video i'm happy to share with you how to make cabbage stew it's very simple and delicious and i hope you will enjoy this delicious cabbage stew so let's get started and please don't forget to subscribe like and share and for my ingredients i'll be using cabbage chopped onions eggs some crushed tomatoes onion ginger and garlic macro and tomato sauce spring onions I also have here green yellow and red capsicum some carrots and also my spices I have here some bay leaves rosemary paprika powder curry powder onion and garlic powder so I'll start by slicing some cabbage and I'm using half cabbage So I'll go ahead and wash it with some salt. I wash it well and set it aside. Next in the blender I'm going to be blending the onion, ginger and garlic and I'll add a little bit of water to help it blend. Next in the saucepan I'm using garlic infused olive oil. I will wait for it to heat up on a medium heat. Next I'm adding in my blended mixture, ginger, garlic and onion mixture. And to it, I'll add the bay leaf and rosemary. I'll now add in the crushed tomatoes and the spices. Now let it simmer on the low heat for about 10 minutes. So I've added in my paprika powder. And after 10 minutes, I'll now add in the other spices, curry powder, garlic and onion powder. I'll stay to combine. Next, I'll add in macro and tomato sauce. I'll also be breaking five eggs. I'll whisk and add it to the sauce. So I'll give it a gentle stir and cover it and let it cook on a low heat for about five minutes. So after five minutes, I'll gently stir it again. And lastly, I'll add my carrots. So the carrots is a bit hard, so I'll let it go in first. And also chopped onions. 
for crunchiness. I will now add in the chopped cabbage. I will stir and let it cook or simmer on a low heat for another 5 minutes. And lastly, I will add in the green, red and yellow capsicum and also the spring onions. And I hope you are enjoying this recipe. Very, very delicious cabbage stew. And you can have this with some yam, rice. Very delicious. And I hope you will give it a try. And as you can see, it's so colorful. Just look at it. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you have enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up, like, share and comment. And also check on my other recipes. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.